I live in Durban, South Africa. This stunning city right on the coast, lovely beaches. It's often called South Africa's playground because it's got amazing weather all year round. Now, 20 years ago, if you had told me I would be living and working in South Africa, I would have said, no, not a chance. I mean, I wanted to be in Africa. I had a heart for Africa but not South Africa. It just seemed like it wasn't the right fit for me. It was too developed as a country and I wanted to do something for rural Africa. But then God spoke. Around 16 years ago, I have this dream that I was ministering with this guy out of a prison. And then I was asked to come and work in a church here in South Africa. Now, whenever I started asking about the church, they said, well, it meets in an old abandoned prison. It was then that I knew that God wanted me here. So I said, I'll give a year of my life. And now 16 years later, I'm still here. We've got five kids and three of them were born here. God knows where he's called you and what he's called you to. Now we don't always know. It reminds me of Abraham. You remember Abraham and in Hebrews, it tells us this. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. We had never been to South Africa before we said yes to the call to come. We had never met the pastor that we would be working with. We had never been to that community. We got the call to come. We got the invitation. We had the dream. We knew God was calling us. It was by faith we had to supersize our calling by trusting in God. Now there are ways in which you can do that as well. The first is live on your knees. If you are not on your knees asking God for his guidance, then you are trusting in your own personal instincts and whatever circumstances might bring your way. You want to hear God's call. That's how you supersize a call. It's on your knees. Look for self-evident clues to help you understand your calling better. For example, if you're called to church plant, then you're probably already gathering people in your home. You like leading small groups. You like helping people understand the scripture and bringing people through. If you're called to leadership, you probably already have people that look to you and ask you for help and, and your guidance. If you're called to other nations, then you probably like different cultures. You enjoy trying different foods. You enjoy learning different languages. You enjoy people from other cultures. Your friends are probably from other cultures. So look for self-evident clues. And then get thoughts and confirmation from leaders within your church. Ask them, what do they see in you? What do they feel like your strengths might be or places that they you might be able to serve in order to see those things come through? You need help from others to help shape and fashion your calling. And of course, if you want to supersize your calling, understand your strengths, understand how God has made you, understand your spiritual gifts. I've got a spiritual gifts book that you can get, a PDF that you can download on my website at drewland.org. Get that book, learn what your spiritual gifts are. It will help to shape you. Even in that book, I show you how you can use your spiritual gifts in real life situations. That will help to shape your understanding of what you are called to. We live in a world crowded with people, people uncertain of who they are and whose they are, of what they're called to and the meaning of life. You don't have to be one of those people wandering the crowds, wandering through life, just going from one circumstance to the next. You can supersize your calling by getting on your knees and trusting God, by seeing the evident clues in your life of your gifts, by asking people that you trust to help partner with you as you search the calling of God on your life and by seeing who God has made you to be with your strengths and your weaknesses and your personality and your spiritual gifts. God's got a plan for you. I wanna see you supersize that calling. Keep following me every single week. Subscribe below if you haven't yet. Turn on the no notifications bell. God's got a plan for your life. Let's work it out together and may you keep growing. This is Drew Land equipping you for a meaningful life.